Here's the washer or dryer pedestal that I just built. I wanted to show you guys. I got my washer sitting on it right now. My dryer I need to get a couple of parts for. But it's for a front load washer. Um, for me I think it's at a really good height. Uh, it's really easy for me to get the clothes in and out. Uh, I'm six foot tall and I'm going to show you exactly the height that I made it here. So from the floor up to here. Almost 17 inches. Most of these pedestals that you that come with the washers, you know, you could buy separately for like 200 or 300 dollars. They're 15 inches. So since I'm six foot, and since my working room that I have here, um, they work good for this height. And also, I made it all one piece, so the washer and dryer are both going to sit on it. Uh, let me tell you what I used to build it with real quick. I used these tie connectors right here. The 4x4 goes right here for the legs, and then the 2x4s run this way for the corners. Um, and I got these at a Home Depot. And so that's this part right here, and as you can see, you put all these screws in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then also on the inside, there's a ton more. Let me see if I can get back there. Underneath here. Yep. So that's actually what it looks like. So there's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eight more. And it really holds it and ties it together real well. And on the inside here too. So I'm underneath it. And then for for the middle part, um, hold on. I also ran two two by fours in the middle here since I don't have legs here in the middle like I do on the sides I've got legs on the sides and legs on that side I thought I'm gonna need something here in the middle just to support it um, so I ran these two by fours then I connected these, these with these little L brackets here um, on those also and just for stability because I thought I might need it here in the middle. I put this 4x4 post. So as you can see, it's actually loose. And I can move it around. So, and I've got the weight of this entire washer sitting on this. Um, but it's only being held up by these four legs here. I put that down there just for a little extra security and safety, I guess. And I'm just going to leave it there. Also, another nice thing I like about this height is... I'm going to be able to store my laundry detergent and other stuff right underneath here. And it goes in and out perfectly. So the overall length of this was exactly 58 inches. And that's for a washer and a dryer to sit on it. Also, I just want to let you know, after I got done building this last night, I ran the washer and put it on, ran a load of laundry in there, put it on high spin because I wanted to see how it would do and if it would walk or rattle or shake or anything nothing so and I leveled it too right here I adjusted these I used a bubble leveler and it didn't do nothing so the, these these legs stayed right here the whole time and I think with these tie connectors here on the corners the 4x4 four four post 2x4s and then 3 quarter inch plywood I think this thing is very very sturdy I only spent 40 bucks on all the materials. I already had the plywood. All I had to do was buy the 4x4 post, the 2x4s, and then the tie connectors and the screws. I spent a little over 40 bucks. And I've got a washer and dryer stand for both. My washer and dryer. So, if you have any questions, please ask. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.